So now we can give the board a little bit more inspection here. The battery definitely have a, a leak, but I think actually this can be cleaned off. Yeah. Have a nasty, nasty leak. This Varta. So, after all these years from 1991, it's time to remove this battery. Let's cut this. Mm. So the battery seems to be soldered in these points. So in these three, I'll just apply some flux here. Yeah. It will help with this soldering. One solder in the ground here. So <coughs> I think we will run four hundred degrees on this or ten. Actually, it's like four eighty or a little bit higher. Right. I think it's ready. Take it up this one. And here it comes out on this side. And the other side. Bastard battery destroyed my Amiga. Well, we have to try to clean up this. I heard white vinegar should do the job very well. Let's try that. So, the white vinegar will actually neutralize the acid from the battery. So we just and everything in here with this toothbrush. Give it a good amount. Carefully, just want to try to pry out this ship. There we go. Without bending these pins. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get this chip. Rip it off also.
Doesn't look so bad at all. <clears throat> I'm trying to just clean only the infected areas with this survival chair. Scrub and scrub and scrub. It's important to clean up this one again because it's had the same effect as the battery acid is actually working as acid on the board, so it doesn't stay there too long. Let's see if we can just scrape off this erosion here. I think this ship should be resoldered to remove every corrosion on these pins. Just apply some hair now and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you come back and scrub it off. So while waiting for the board to dry I'm working on these pins on this chip. Just applying some small amount of one chair hair on this flat blade Philips. Ah touch it, it's flat blade. <coughs> I'm trying here just to scrap it off scrap it off. No, sorry, you don't see shit. My bad. It will uh, be fun to see if you can have it work. Continue to work around all the way, all over this uh, this uh, chip. <coughs> so now we are 15 minutes ahead. So, so I think we we'll just give it the last scrub here now. Yeah, I can actually see the corrosion come off. Fairly easily. So now I puff this final gear sheet. Doesn't look so bad, does it? Any more? The ship. To the naked eye, it seems to be fairly nice. After I scraped it off. So, this is the tool I have. I have to pop an old primer. Um, yeah. So I just uh, use the cap here to uh, soak my toothbrush into it and go to, um, to the board. Yeah, I just give it a good amount of easy propanol hair and clean, 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 scrub, scrub, scrub. Now 
Ah, you can see some dirt. Oh. It's a little bit dirty, these boulders. It seems that the Q-tips collect a lot more than the, those pads I used. Those um, cotton pads. Yes, now I want to show you this um, board. Still some corrosion on the first pin there. A little bit corrosion, I can still see. And some traces are exposed. I will check them with the multimeter. Give the whole board a wipe or a clean. It is alcohol. Just a lightly brush here. Well, not sure. It's not crazy hard to know. But it's not crazy hard to know. Then I connect hard, you can see. Just look at the hard up, hard up. Very good. Very good. Easy first. I'll be ready. So you can just go. Can you be ready for that? Let's do the next one here. In the same time, I'm going to start it off. Instead of making sure I'm going to come here. I'm going to do a big mistake, which is the new standard. I'm going to try to save the time, and it's a lot of money. So I'm going to go to the new standard. So now I have done a little bit more cleaning here, and we shall now take a look at the area which were infected with this lacage from this battery, battery acid. And we can see now it's much, much more cleaner. So now I'm going to inspect this uh, solder joints here to see if uh, the, any of these traces have a have a br break. It's broke, broken. So we start with this number one here. I'm gonna follow this trace. It's not so easy to see, but it seems it's going under here. Onto this one. There you go. It means it means that it's okay. No break in the trace. And this one I already know. What this one? This one? Okay. And this one. This is ground. Yes. Huh? So after testing this, I see no reason for this Amiga to not to work. So now I have this Amiga 500 Plus connected to this monitor and I will turn it on to test it. And now what will happen? Grey screen. Looking for the floppy. No, doesn't seem to work. No video, no picture. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so we tried it and uh, there was no video, but uh, of course <laughs> I put this on the wrong place. It should go be here. <laughs> Just a moment, we try again. So now I have connected it to the right place. Turn on the screen. And we have some kind of white screen. And we have a working Amiga 500 Plus! Oh my god!